Hello and welcome to the Zoll Zvent in-service demonstration. This multiple part series will provide detailed information about the Zvent portable critical care ventilator and its functionality. In this module, we will review how to navigate the parameters secondary context menus. Each parameter has a unique parameter context menu that is accessed by pressing and holding the corresponding parameter button. To change any setting within a parameter context menu, always remember, touch, turn, confirm. The Massimo menu is accessed by pressing and holding the heart rate parameter button. In this menu, the user can change settings related to the monitoring device. Pulse oximetry is automatically activated when a pulse oximeter is connected to the device and attached to a patient. If there is no pulse oximeter connected when changing the setting, or if there is a malfunction in the connection, you will receive a pulse ox sensor not connected alarm with smart help instructions to guide you to a solution. The FIO2 menu is accessed by pressing and holding the FIO2 parameter button. In this menu, the user can select whether they are operating from an O2 reservoir. Zoll offers an oxygen reservoir bag kit to allow for low flow oxygen use with the ventilator to provide supplemental oxygen to patients. Low flow oxygen sources can be from a flow meter or an oxygen concentrator. To change this setting, press the Accept button to select the O2 reservoir option, use the selection dial to change the value from off to on, and confirm the change by pressing the Accept button again. When O2 reservoir is on, a plus sign icon will appear in the FIO2 parameter window. The PIP menu is accessed by pressing and holding the PIP parameter button. In this menu, the user can adjust the trigger level. The trigger level is the pressure needed to trigger an inspiratory breath thus minimizing the effort of breathing on the patient and preventing auto-triggering in the presence of leaks. The default trigger is set to negative 2 cm H2O and can be adjusted from negative 6.0 to negative 0.5 cm H2O below the baseline PEEP. To adjust the trigger level, use the selection dial to raise or lower the value and confirm the change by pressing the Accept button. The Tidal Volume menu is accessed by pressing and holding the Tidal Volume parameter button. In this menu, the user can adjust the compliance manually in the event a non-Zoll circuit is connected to the ventilator. It is highly recommended that you use Zoll circuits with the Zvent to avoid incompatibility and compliance issues and to avoid the need for manual adjustment. The Breaths Per Minute menu is accessed by pressing and holding the BPM parameter button. In this menu, the user can change what controls the breaths per minute in the ventilator, either I to E ratio or inspiratory time. To change the control parameter, press the Accept button to select the control parameter menu option, use the selection dial to change the setting, and confirm the change by pressing the Accept button again. Within this menu, you can also adjust the rise time, cycle off percentage, and spontaneous inspiratory time limit. These settings address patient comfort and ventilator synchronicity in pressure-targeted modes for both invasive and non-invasive ventilation. We have now completely reviewed navigating the parameter secondary context menus. Throughout the other modules, we will continue to explore the device's functionality and how to prepare the ventilator for use.